Peace and love everyone. It's Imara Ifawuyi here on the lovely island of St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands. We're at one of my breakfast brunch spots on the island right now. And I wanted to talk today a little bit about um, holiday time and Christmas time here uh, in the Caribbean because they have their own special way of doing it here on St. Croix in particular. We are now officially in carnival season. So carnival season begins today, the 26th, um, and it's gonna go well into January. And basically, you know, for those who aren't familiar with cultures that include carnival, um, you know, I'm no expert on it, but it is it, connected to um, aspects of, you know, Christian religion or Catholicism. Uh, some people line up their carnivals with Lent and, you know, so there's just different background reasons why it ever became practiced, but the way it is done in places like the VI and, you know, Trinidad and even down in Brazil and things like that is, is something that is just so exciting and fun. Um, the build up was, you know, preparing for Christmas and all of the tramping through the streets and the dancing to the music, the kind of local traditional music, relevant, and, and um, you know, doing these overnight tramps where you're just marching through the streets for hours. Check out my video about um, the Quelebe tramping that I did the other day. You know, so it's just a whole energy of celebrating life and celebrating um, the season that we're in, solstice season, and not only are we in a solstice season, but I have been made aware and reminded um, by the one Wayne Chandler that we are also entering, give thanks to you, uh, the photon belts. And, you know, for those of you who aren't familiar with what that means for us as people, uh, we're going into a time of major transformation right now as we speak, as we cross into the solstice and are now in officially in, you know, winter. So basically, we are up for some major change and transformation right now. And so um, I think it's, it's interesting how then at that time now we're, we here are moving into Carnival. And so Carnival is just that time to free up. Here on this island, we do villages, so every, the village. So every day there's different acts, different um, people coming to perform from different parts of the Caribbean, different parts of the world, um, you know, soca music, uh, uh, soca and uh, calypso and reggae and reggaeton. And we celebrate Latin cultures here on St. Roy too because there's so many Dominicans, there's so many Puerto Ricans here. So it's just a time where everybody gets to represent themselves and, and the beauty of their culture and the things that they do. So it's a really fun and exciting time of the year here. Um, and I wanted to just talk a little bit about it because for me it's a bridge uh, between people. It's a way to kind of con um, to, to meld everyone and to make them feel like they're part of a community. And when you live on an island as small as St. Croix, that is important that you feel like you're a part of a, com a community of people. It doesn't mean everybody here is going to be out in the streets dancing during Juve and jumping up and all of that stuff. But um, it does mean that we, you know, everybody gets on a rhythm together where they know that there's going to be certain celebratory things It'll be very high energy, very transformative. They're going to be taking place throughout, you know, this season, and it just kind of brings people together in a certain type of way. And you know, it doesn't mean it's always going to stick, and you're always going to feel like you're a part of a really intact community or anything like that. But these kind of cyclical uh, celebrations are part of what makes places like the islands, and part of what makes places like. Um, down in Brazil and Bahia, for instance, so special because you feel cohesion. You feel like you're a part of something, a part of a bigger community. I mean, nobody says any of it is ever perfect, but that is um, that's the key to me in terms of moving through and being able to to continue to exist and to 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 um, not only exist but to thrive. You have to be building these, these connections with other people that feel cohesive because we're, you know, right now we're in a time where 
everything is about going from place to place. Everybody's nomading, they're traveling, they're doing their different things, they're um, all about themselves, they've got technology, they might not even be engaging that much with people because they, you know, in real time because they're so busy on the phone and, you know, dealing with technology, all these different things. And so it's important that we have those times where we just put all of that aside and just go and what they call down here, fat, just go and party, you know, go live it up, go be with other people in your community and y'all just have fun together. Free up, let it all go, you know, take all the stress and the strain <clears throat> of the entire year and just put it away, throw it away. And so this is um, where we're at right now, so it's really exciting. And this is one of the benefits when you move to places um, like even New Orleans or any island or anywhere where they celebrate carnival or just any place where there's an energy around being very celebratory at different holidays at different uh, points in the year. Um, you know, it's a time where you get to feel a lot of relief, that you get to feel like you can lay your burdens down. And so um, I really, really am excited to show more of this as the season is progressing. Actually, we're getting started with some concerts and some things today. So as the season's progressing, I want to be able to just show y'all more of what happens during that time. You know, um, particularly just some of the live music and then, you know, the masquerade and the different things. You know, really what goes on at Carnival really is supposed to stay at Carnival, but... <laughs> We're looking forward to it, and, and this is all leading up for me. I know I'm going to be participating in Juve this year, so Juve is, is going to crack off. That's that is on the first, so we'll be basically doing New Year's Eve, you know, fat celebration, celebration, stay up all night, and then go straight into Juve. And Juve here starts at 4 a.m., so you're out in the street, dancing, partying, following whatever crew you're rolling with, or whatever you're doing and just free it up. So that's what it is, that's island life. And that's an aspect of island life. I know for me as a culturalist, as a person who really um, loves to engage in kind of street uh, revel and, and dance and sports and arts, and, you know, improvisational arts and different things like that, that is something that I really enjoy about living somewhere like the VI. So, I just wanted to share a little bit about that. I hope you all are having a fantastic season, whether you do Christmas, Kwanzaa, whatever you do. I'm not, I don't feel no way about none of it. Whatever you do, do it. Do it all the way. Enjoy it. Enjoy communing with your friends and your family, you know. And um, I just wanted to do that little video. We'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, peace and love.